Good evening, everyone. This is Bremster, and I can tell you right now, I'm not going to be my normal chipper up self that I try and be. Um, so I'm very fortunate that I had pre-recorded the Barbie Sudoku series because it allowed me to release something when I got violently ill. In the last four days, I've had two light meals, and both of those were today. Um, I have been incredibly unwell. Um, I'm still not better, but by the time this video comes out, oh, pardon me, I should be. Um, it's just been a real rough few days and uh, a lot of big planned events that have, like, things that have been planned for months, um, I've had to not go to or not attend or just cancel, um, because I have been so unwell. Uh, for two of those days, I was barely able to get out of bed. So, um, I'm glad I had pre-recorded, com um, content and I'm really hoping that you enjoyed the Barbie Sudoku series as much as I did while I was recording it. Um, but now on to this. This is Khan the Cats by EPH. Now, I'm not sure where EPH is um, based, but this makes me think that he's possibly an Australian. Um, though, I don't know, sports could be international now that the internet is the thing. I'm recording in Australia and you're watching this from wherever you are. Um, so Khan the Cats to me, uh, and I think this is the case, is a football thing, um, an Australian rules football thing. Now, I don't follow Australian rules football. Um, I have been to a total of one football match, one um, in my life, uh, apart from VFA, which was the other, the more junior league. Um, the uh, VFA is now, that was back in the 80s. Um long time ago. Uh, that's now all been rebranded and everything. But I've been to one football match in my life, and that was again back in the 80s. And that was a Geelong football match. And this, for me, I believe is Geelong Football Club, the Cats, um, based in Geelong, which is actually not too far from where I live. Um, so yeah, this is a bit of a weird one for me. Um, the blue banding, um, is, and the blue and white stripes are the Geelong football jersey colours, um, and Khan the Cats is the way that the supporters would probably call out to them if I was ever at a place where I would hear someone say that. Um, I have, the football season is currently going on. I have no idea how any of the teams is going. I remember about, I think it was about 10 years ago, um, there was a discussion about football and people were asking me which of the, um, football teams I support. I said, I don't know, pick one of the 12 and they turned around and said, it's been 14 for like 12 or something years now. I was like, uh, <laughs> I really don't follow football. I have no clue. Um, so yeah, um, but can the cats, I suppose, um, I, I love the concept of this puzzle. It definitely works for the theme of supporting a, uh, a football team. The grid looks exactly like their jersey. It'd be interesting to see what other people could do with other sports jerseys. I'm not a sports fan. I follow one sport, the um, Gelé's Marvel runs. Um, and, uh, you know, if there was to be a Marvel run themed thing with all of the, the team logos, that would be great. But I'm happy for people to do stuff like this. Is that I don't know the Cats at all, even though they're probably the closest, uh, not quite the closest football team to where I live. But um, yeah, I, I think it's great. And if people want to bring out their, um, if they want to um, support their local football team or, or not local football team by doing this, I think it's great. Let's have a look at the puzzle, shall we? Normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. Cells separated by a black dot are in a one to two ratio, or one is double the other. Cells separated by a white dot must be consecutive. Not all dots are necessarily given. And digits placed in the blue row indicate the position of the row um, number in that column. And what that means is the example given is if row two, column five were a seven, then that means that row seven, column five must be a two because this is this is row two. So wherever you which um, wherever you put a seven, in this row, the two must go in that row. Similarly, if this were a five, that would indicate that the two must go in this column, must go in row five. Um, and that's basically what it means. So if we were to put a one here, this would have to be a two um, and all the way down. Um, that's what that means. Um, that's 
the way the entire grid works. And it's the same with these blue rows. So if this was a four, this would have to be a six because this is indicating the six because this is row six has to be in row four. That's the way the whole grid works. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So one of the things I know from doing 159 puzzles, which are um, column indexes where the columns are indexing, um, this is where the rows are indexing, is when you have a full um, indexing row or column, you end up with entropy in these rows. Now, why is that? Now, let's look at this as an example, this black dot. If this was a one, two, that would, in, or if uh, if these had the same entropy in any way, shape, or form, let's look at this one as if this was a one, two. If this was a one and this was a two, making this black dot work, that would indicate that the four in this column was there and the four in this column was there. Um, and that doesn't work. And the same would be true if I was to turn around and say, if this was a one and this was a three, that would put the sixes there and there, which doesn't work. So whenever you put a low, these must contain because one of these is going to be a low, one of these is mid, and one of these is high. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But if I was to put in this run of three, two of the same type, two lows, then I would have a low and a low. One of these must be low, one of these must be mid, one of these must be high. Now they could be in, um, they could be high, low and mid or anything, but one of them must be one of each. Otherwise I'll end up doubling up in a box. So there is entropy along here, but I think the only entropy problem here is one, two. I can't put one, two on either of the, on any of these dots which is interesting for this row because I can't put one, two on these dots. So one of those dots must contain a four. Right, hang on. There's something going on in box six, I think. I think these dots are the same because I can never put one, two on a dot. So one of them is from two, four or four, eight. And the other one, therefore, must be 3, 6. Now. Interesting. I haven't got anything yet, though. The black dots, I think, are the break-in. Hang on. The, the white dots are also important, because these are either 3, 4 or 6, 7. These are 3, 4 or 6, 7 but they're the only two that are like that because they have to be different entropies. So if one, I can't go three to two and I can't do one, two, it has to be either a jump from three to four. So it would be like here to here. So we've got twos in either those positions, an X wing of twos here or an X wing of twos here. Well, this can't be a six. So this can't be a seven. I'm not seeing it yet. There'll be something. But I think the two, four. There must be a four on one of these. But if this is a four, this would be six, three. If this is a four, this would be six. And that doesn't work. I can't put four here. Because if I put four here, this becomes six. And then I don't have 6-3 to put on a box. So this is not the 4. If I put 4 here, it's self-indexing. And then these become 6-3. Hang on, there's something weird going on here. Because if this is four, this is six, and this is three, and this is four. If this is four, then this is six, three. And that breaks. I can't put six, three here because of this white dot. 
If I put 6-3 here, what do I put on this dot? Because this has to be for 3-4. This is not 6-3. This is the 4. This is the 6-3. This makes this the 6, this the 3. And the reason I... this One of these... Yeah, I'd already explained why one of them had to be 2-4 um, four or 4-8. Four, this is either 2 or 8. Um, but I can't put 6-3 on this dot because 6-3 on this dot means that this would be 4-7 um, four, seven, and 4-7 four, are not consecutive. So this has a 4 on it with 2, 4, 8. Now that means that the 6 is either here or here. This 3 means that that's 4, which means this is 7, 8 or 9. I'm putting 4 down there. That takes 3, 4 out of there. This is 6, 7. Which means the other 6 is down here. That's interesting. And this is 1, 2 or 3, putting 6 up here. Huh. Now this is either low or high. No, I'm not sure yet. But I can put four in here. Can put six in here. Can put three in here. Four has to be in one of those. Sorry, four. Because I can't put one in any of those. So four can't go into those. And four's not in those. So where's the one? Oh, one is in one of... Row four is definitely the one I'm... Can't put seven here. So if this is low, it's 1 or 2, and if it's high, it's 8 or 9. So it's putting 6 there or there. Which makes sense from the pointing 6s. So the 5 in this row is in here. So there's a 5 in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, there's a 5 in here. I can't put 5 in any of those because I've already got the mid-digit in here and the mid-digit in here. There is a 5 in here, which means there's a 6 in here, which I could have got by Sudoku. Now, 6 in here would have to go with 7. Which would make that 7, which would make that 4. So the reason that can't be four, that would be one. This would be four, eight. Hang on, where is, can I put seven there? Seven there would put four there. Yeah, I can. So, can this be 3, 6, I suppose, is the question. If this is 3, 6, no, because... This would be 4, and this would have no fill. This is 3, 6, this would be 4, and this is no fill. There is a 4 in one of those two. So there must be a 2 in one of these two. So this is 2, 4. So this is now 7, 8, or 9. And in here, I've got 1 and 5. 
So I know there's a four in there and a four up here, which means there's no four in there. There is no four in here. So this is six and seven, which means this is two. This is eight, which means this is six. There's no eight in either of those. There's no two there. So the six is now either here or here. This seven means this is two, means this is six and this is seven, which this seven means this is the six, which I also got by the given pencil marks. These are not six. Now, in order for that to be four, that would have to be two, and it can't be. Right, four is on here. So these are two, four, eight. We know four is here and here. These are two, four there. Don't I end up with a deadly pattern? But I still can't prove they're not. Them becoming a deadly pattern isn't enough for me to say they're not. It's not true. I need another reason. I've got to put a three in here. Which three in here for the row, which means one of these is a six. And if one of those is a six, I have to put a six right there, which means this is the one. And these are now known to be one, two, three, four, five, three, five, and nine. Which means the other six goes down here, which I already had. I just hadn't figured that out yet. So I've done a lot of work on the sixes. So this puts row eight there. This puts, I've broken it. I've broken it. That's not possible. I've broken the puzzle. When did I put that in? I think I, did I just put that in because of that and that was just wrong? I think I just put that in because of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll forward again because I think every other deduction was correct and just remove that because I put that in because that was a seven, but that's row eight. So if this is four, eight, one of these is two. Hang on, so does two, four, and eight need to exist in those? But there's going to be another digit left over, isn't there? Mm. Not sure. In here, I've got one five with eight or nine. So we know that the four is either, there's a four in here, there's a four in here, and then there's a four somewhere in here. It's not there. And it's not, no, it could be there. It's probably more Sudoku I need to do, such as I know seven is in one of those two. If that's a seven, that's a four. Six here would go with seven. If this is six, seven, one of these is five. If one of these is five, this is six, seven. trying to see a way of breaking that. Well, 
wherever the one is in this row, Now, this is two, though, because that is seven. So this is two. I just, the fact that I took it out of the wrong place doesn't mean I couldn't put it in the correct. So this is one or three. But that does mean two is up here. Actually, these middle, these middle ones are in Tropic, but these aren't. But I do need a five in here. Right, because there has to be a two in here. I don't think these ones have to be in Tropic though, but these do. So six, seven is possible here. In fact, this has to be, this does have to be six, seven, because this has to be, in. this is in Tropic and this is in Tropic, because this has a low, a medium and a high. So this has a low, medium and a high. So this has to have a low, a medium and a high. So this can't be five six. Yeah, this is a consecutive This is a consecutive dot that is um, that has three different entropies. Is what I mean. So because this has three different entropies, it could only be three four or six seven, and it can't be three four. This is six seven, which means this is not the six. This is not a seven. This is a. Oh, what if I I've broken it again? And the reason I've broken it again is because I put sevens in there when I should have put sevens down there. I'm real. Me not being well is a reason. It's not an excuse. I'm so sorry, everyone. At least I'm giving everyone a reason to make comments about how silly I am. That means this is actually a seven, which means this is the four. These are one, two, three, five, and nine. Now the six, seven here, oh, hang on. This is the eight and this is a one. This eight means this is a four. So this is a three or a five. Ooh, which means it's not a seven and this is a seven. Three, five or nine. I can put six there. I can put six there. I can put six there. This can no longer be a five, though. Hang on. No. And we know what these are. These are one, five, and nine. But this can't be a four. So this is not a nine. Four is in one of those two. Three or five. This is a one, three, five triple. So one, two, three, four, five, six. These are four, eight, and nine. This is not a four. That's not a nine. So this is four or eight. But what are these? One, two, three, four, eight. Now this is this is a low digit one two or three, so it means that the two is in one of the yeah I had that one as soon as I pencil mark the two in those. If this was the two, this would be the three, and this would have to be the one. That works. I'm still missing this. This has to have an eight on it. Two, four, and six means that there is an eight on this consecutive dot because every dot, consecutive dot needs an even digit and there's no eight there. So this is the eight and this is seven or nine. That eight takes eight out of there and it means that this, which indexes that, is a seven, which means there's a seven over here, which means that's the nine. 
I still feel I'm doing terribly at this. There's no nine there. The seven looks up meaning this is six and this is seven. This is now indexing it. So that's the five, that's the three, that's the nine. That means that this is the six and the nine means this is the six. And I can take the six out of all of those. That's cool. And now I've got all of the sixes. There's a one in one of those two. There's a two in one of those. There's a three in one of those. And there's a five in one of those. I pencil marked that wrong. Three, five, two, three, five, one, two, three, and one, two, five. But this can't be a five because it would be the same entropy as this one. And that would be, yeah, this can't be five. This is two or three, which means there's an eight in one of those two. Three, five means there's an eight in one of those. That's not a, this can't be a one. So that can't be an eight. Four in one of those. Four in one or five, that's still holding true. These are one, two, and five. But that can't be a five, because that's not a two. So this is one, two. So if this is two, four, hang on, I'm starting to feel there's a problem here. Well, there's a two, four pair in this column. So this is not a two. Actually, two is here or here. I already knew that. If this is a two, that's self-indexing, and this is four, eight. This is a one. This is a two. Hang on, if this is a two, this is four and eight. If this is a one, this is a two, and this is four, eight. No matter what we do, that is four and eight, which means that's two, that's four, that's two, that four is self-indexing. Whichever way that worked, this was four, eight. That was kind of crazy. One, two, three, five, and seven in here. And in this column, one, three, and nine. These are five. Oh, this is a five, which means this is not a five. So the four is not there. The four is either there or there. So this is either two with one or three, or there's an eight on it. The only thing I've got left. Have I done all the indexing? Eight to two, four to two, one or two, meaning two is in one of those. Six to two, seven to two, two is in one of those. And I don't know anything about those except one of them must be five and one of them must be nine. So, But we know that because there is a two down here. And one of them is one, two, or three. This one could be a two. Where else can I put two in this column? That's two, that's five. No, that works. Okay. Um, so this one is okay. Four is self-indexing. Eight, two, um, two to four, eight to four, one or five is those, one, five, nine is there, there or there, one or nine is there or there, seven is there, six is there, three is there, nine is six there, five is six there, three is six there, two, I've done row six, I know, six is self-indexing, seven, eight, four, and one, two, seven, four, three or five, Not sure. 
oh, five, that's an eight, which means that's a four and that's a three. That four means that's five and that's not five. See, it was worth checking. Now that five makes that three, which makes that one. That four makes that nine and that eight, which works for that three. This is not nine, this is nine. Now I can't put six, there is a two on this dot because I can't put four, six or eight on it. So this is the two on the dot, which means this has to be a three. And therefore this has to be a one, which makes this nine and this one. This puts the four down here and the four up here. And this to complete the box has to be a five. To complete this column, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a self-indexing eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a nine. This is very, very cool. There's no five in either of those. This is a one, two pair. So this becomes three, seven, and five. How do I resolve this? It's going to have to be something over here, I think. Because at the moment, either of those work. But this is now becomes five, which means this is three and this is one. Now these are one and I need a high digit, which is nine, which means that there is an eight. Well, I can't put an eight there. So that's the nine. That's the one, which means that's the eight and that's the eight. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five and seven. And these are two and three. Okay, there's no nine there, there's no nine there. So this is saying where the two goes. So it's one, two, five, nine. There's no nine there, there's no one there. So it's either two or five, which makes sense. But that makes this a seven, this a five. Hang on, did I get that right? Yeah. That means there's no five there. There's no five there. This is a one or a two for the row. So this is one, two, five, nine. This row is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've absolutely missed something. This is one, two, five, or nine. Okay, so what have I missed? Have I placed all the eights? Surely I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Yes. Have I placed all the sixes? Yes. Have I placed all the fours? Yes. So the only indexing I'm playing with is the twos. Oh, this seven makes this three and this seven. The three places this two and this three. That two means that is a nine. It means that is a one. That is a two. That is a one. There's no one or nine there. That's the two. That's the five, which means that's the two. That's the nine. That's the five. Congratulations. Next up, grand the grand final. Is that Khan or Khan the cats? Um, didn't know the solution message was in there. I don't know if the cats are in a running to make the grand final or not. I have no idea how the season, season, I think it's a season, is going. But that was a really cool puzzle. Um, very interesting, and I do like the way that the um, the jersey was included in the uh, the puzzle. I'm going to sign off a little faster than normal, which will make some people happy, but it doesn't because of the reasons I'm doing it. Thank you, everyone, for watching, and as always, good luck with your solving.